What is going on, y'all? This is Travis from Chasing Anthems coming at you guys with another reaction video. Today, we're going to be checking out a band I know absolutely nothing about. I know you're not going to believe me. You're going to say something like, how can you be a guitarist and not know this band? How can you blah, 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 blah? Well, I'm telling you right now, I have no idea who King Crimson King, King Crim Sun. I don't know why I can't say that. Uh, is. Okay, so somebody suggested it. I don't know where, but I got on my, uh, my thread, and that's what we're doing today. We're going to be checking out a band I have no idea about. So please believe me. If you don't, that's all right. I don't really care that much. But I am uh, looking forward to checking out someone new because that's what's amazing about music. There's always somebody out there that you'd never heard of, and it's going to be a very first time. It's going to be a raw reaction. So today we're going to be checking out In the Court of the Crimson... <laughs> Crimson King. Gosh, why can't I say that? I don't know what's going on today. Anyways, with that being said, thank you guys so much. If you are new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified of future videos, like, comment, share, do all that kind of good stuff, and then go check out some original tunes. Links below. We got a new single coming out. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be different. It's nothing like anything we've done. If you're familiar, we got descriptions of all of our original music, and that's why we're doing this channel. So you guys can hear some more good original music, but also support the so many bands that have come before us and that are doing their thing and that are inspiring artists to continue working on their craft. So with that being said, I'm going to stop talking. We're going to roll the film and we're going to check out this song together. Let's go. Shattered by the sun Walk the road, the horizons change The tournament's begun The purple piper plays his tune The choir softly sung Two lullabies in an ancient tongue For the court of the crimson Shutters on the dreams Wait outside the pilgrim's door With insufficient schemes The black queen chants the funeral march The cracked brass bells will ring Summon back the fire witch To the court of the crimson Thank you. 
first reaction here. Um, I, I hate stopping if I don't have to, or just because. But I feel like when there's a good break, let's let's talk about it a little bit. I I really like the uh, the harmonies and the vocals. Um, a lot of times nowadays, you know, you, you people are phoning in with keys and you know synths and stuff like that, and are are trying to fill in that ambiance. So it's kind of cool to hear it actually in a live setting. Um, this feels very. Um, theatrical something that you could see like in, in a movie you can feel the emotion with uh just how laid back they are and how melodic the tunes are but you still hear you know some crazy drum work going on in the back you know almost sound like there was some double bass going on i could tell these guys are all probably uh top of the game as far as in their each of their individual uh instruments which is pretty sick you know and so i'm hoping that this song can opens up let me know what you guys think what is uh a good example of king crimson um is just where they get to just rock out and do their thing the other thing I, i'm thinking of when i hear this i hear little um Maybe early versions of Rush. Now, I know the Rush fans are probably going to, you know, murder me in this and say, you know, Rush is 10 times more complicated, this or that, and there's only three of them. Yes, we get it. We know, and we love them. Rush is, is awesome. But this sense of kind of breaking the stereotypical mold of, you know, three-minute, 30-second songs that are radio-friendly, right? This is this band, it seems to me, and this is just first impression that, they're, they're not in a hurry to tell this short commercial pop song that we're going to tell a much larger story, uh, something that would fit into like a fight scene in a movie or something like that. That's just my initial impression. I could be totally wrong. They might ha All their other stuff might be total commercial pop stuff. I don't know, but you guys let me know in the comments below. Also here, like some very early versions like Dream Theater. With, the, with that being said, Dream Theater, I know it has a lot more complicated you know, riffs and runs and stuff like that. But still, the the idea of that we're not in an urgent rush to package something into a three-minute song. We're going to take our time. We're going to let the song breathe. Could also be just because it's a live performance. But that's just my general impression. You know, you guys let me know in the comments uh, below. God whilst trampling on a Chase the wind of a prison to taste the sweet and sour The pattern juggles is The orchestra begins The slow turns the grinding The court of the crimson
run to cross the mining sun to satisfy the hopes. The yellow jester does not break the gentle streets and smiles at the puppet stands at the court of the blue. Crimson in the court of the Crimson King live. I take back my pre. Now take back, but I would say maybe a better reference is maybe some Zeppelin references in there. Uh, you know, John Bonham, as we know, is just a, an amazing drummer. Uh, I would have loved to hear some more guitar work in there. I think there was a lot of opportunities, but that flute was definitely unexpected and very cool. You know. Um, at first, I think I, I was a little taken off guard because I wasn't, I didn't see exactly where that was coming from, and then I was like, "Oh, that's a flute. That's not on the the keys." Like I had mentioned before, a lot of bands would phone that stuff in on a synthesizer and stuff like that. So it's really cool to see, um, you know, one of the guys in the group stepped up and and was a very talented flutist, right? Pretty cool. Something I definitely I can't do, um, and you don't often see in rock bands and stuff like that. So pretty cool to see that come out. Um, yeah, I overall I thought they were great. Um, very melodic, very um, very full. I love the harmonies. I love the drum work. I think the drum work was awesome. Really filled in a lot of gaps and kind of gave it that symphony type feel where there was a lot of motion being driven, um, especially by the floor toms and just you know the different uh, accents that were being thrown in. I think it really um, made it more interesting and elevated it for sure. Uh, I just would have loved to hear some wide open shred stuff. Um, you know, I, I refer to the Dream Theater and Rush, which both, you know, those bands are known for the complicated. So in that regards, not the best reference. But still, I just I was more so, you know, speaking to kind of breaking the mold and the rules when it comes to you know, what you think of traditional mainstream music. But hey, with that being said, let me know because I would love to hear um, the stuff that, you know, uh, needs to be seen and needs to be reacted to. With that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please consider subscribing, commenting, uh, sharing, do all that kind of good stuff and go check out some original music. We got a new single coming out very soon. You're not going to want to miss it. With that being said, you guys, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah.